Yes, lads, welcome back to the channel for another video. It is the second upload of today. Today is a double upload and it is a double departure. Obviously, there was the video about Matty Dolan leaving for Hartlepool on a loan deal, obviously to become a permanent deal. And this one is Robbie Wilmot leaving the club on loan until the end of the season. Now, we saw Robbie Wilmot couple of seasons ago move to Exeter on loan for the rest of the season and Robbie has done the exact same thing again in this January transfer window and it's one that I will give my original thoughts on it in a second um first of all I am quite gutted um I am quite gutted about this one if I'm truthfully honest I'll obviously read both articles from both ourselves and obviously the Walsall article as well uh, to give sort of a in-depth analysis on the deal or, you know, about Robbie himself, and then I can actually break it down whether I think it's a good move, do I think it's a, a bad move, do I think it will turn into a permanent deal, will he leave the club permanently after this uh, loan spell, um, all of that. Let's just get straight into it then. So we'll start off with uh, the departing article, obviously, from ourselves, Newport County. Robbie Wilmot has today completed a loan move to Walsall until the end of the season. Over the course of two spells as an exile, Robbie was instrumental in the club returning to the Football League in 2013 during his first period with the club between 2013 and 2015. After returning to Rodney Parade in 2019, Robbie represented us for a further five and a half years, going on to play 150 times in League Two, including the 2019 playoff final. The club thanks Robbie for all his efforts across his time at Newport County AFC over the two spells and would and would like to wish him the very best in his loan spell at Walsall. So no actual confirmation whether it will be a permanent deal following this loan spell. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Robbie Wilmot and, and what we'll see from the, the Walsall article in a minute is maybe some justification about the, the loan spell and the you know, sort of duration of of uh, Robbie's time at Newport. But like I said, you know, he was he, we, with us for two years between 2013 and 2015, went away to Chippenham, I believe, got back in 2017 um, and, and has only just left the club um, on a loan spell to Walsall. So, you know, two years in his first spell, five and a half years, he's a really, real loyal member of Newport County. Let's have a look at what... Uh, Walsall have to say. Walsall Football Club are delighted to announce the signing of versatile midfielder Robbie Wilmot on a loan deal from Newport County until the end of the season. The 32-year-old can play as a winger, wing-back and centrally as an attacking midfielder. Wilmot has played 292 times for Newport County over two spells and has worked closely with head coach Michael Flynn and assistant head coach Wayne Hatswell. Of course, linking back up with Michael Flynn, Robbie Wilmot. Maybe that's part of the reason of, as to why he's gone uh, to Walsall. He may have had different um, sort of options of a loan spell and he's probably weighed it up. Look, I've played alongside Michael Flynn and Wayne Hatswell. I know them best. During his first spell at Rodney Praise between 2013 and 2015, he played alongside Flynn and helped the Exiles reach the EFL. After spells at Ebbsfleet, Eb, Eb, Ebbsfleet Eastleigh, Bishop Stortford, Chelmsford City, he returned to South Wales in 2017 and played a key role for the Exiles as they reached the Skybet League 2 playoff final in 2019-2021. So it was uh, Chelmsford, not Chippenham, that Robbie uh, signed, us, uh, signed to us from. He enjoyed a loan spell at Exeter City in the second half of the 2020-2021 season, but is now looking forward to his new challenge at the Poundland Bestcott Stadium. So like I said, previously going out on loan. Wilmot highlighted what he was looking to bring to the team and is looking forward to working with Hatswell and Flynn once again. Playing under the gaffer and hats, and I have played with both of them, um, which means I now know how to operate uh, know how they would like me to play, um, said Wilmot. They are two friends. We have a great relationship on our known hats for about 14 years, so it's been a while. Uh, under the gaffer, we have some very good successful times. Hopefully, we can carry on the great form that Walsall uh, are in and bring those times to Walsall. At Newport, I think I played, but 
I think I played anywhere bad in goals under him, but anywhere that I am asked to play, I will, I will, will, I will give one hundred percent. Stuttering over my words, I feel like my crossing is a massive part of my game. I like to put chances on for the striker, but the gaffer knows that I can fill in wherever needed. Head coach Michael Flynn is pleased to add Robbie to his squad. I'm delighted to have Robbie in the building. He said he's arguably one of the best crosses in the league with either foot, and he can play in numerous positions. I've known him a long time. I've played with him, managed him. He's a good character, and he'll fit in with this group. He's very fit, looks after himself, and he will provide us with some good ammunition going down the right-hand side. Predominantly, I'll be looking to play him on the right, where he's got to earn his spot in his team, and hopefully the fans get to see the best of Robbie. The transfer is subject to EFL and FA international clearance. Now, looking at what County have said, very short and sweet, not really said much about the deal. It's pretty much just, here's what he done. We wish him the best of luck. So I don't really want to read too much into that. But um, what Walsall have said and what Mike Flynn has come out and said that they look like they do want to take Robbie on full time. You know, probably one of the best crosses in the league. We never got to see that truly at County. We never got to see the, the best of Robbie Wilmot. And, um, unfortunately, hopefully, uh, unfortunately, sorry, for uh, Walsall fans, they'll want to see the best of Robbie Wilmot. In terms of this deal, I am a bit gutted, if I'm truthfully honest. It's one that we never got to see the best of, and, and, and definitely there's a lot more in the tank for Robbie Wilmot, and I think Mike Flynn and Hatswell will get the best out of him. If there are any Walsall fans watching this, you will see a player that will predominantly, like Flynn said, want to be played on the right-hand side, whipping the balls into the strikers. However, can play off the left, can play through the middle, can also play as a wing-back if needed. Um, but yeah, you're going to get a player who will give 110%. He will not not put the effort in. He's a fantastic um, player to have in the dressing room just because of his all ability and his you know presence in the dressing room. Walsall fans, do look after him. I don't know if this will be the last of Robbie Wilmot we see. It'll be interesting to see if Robbie Wilmot comes back to Newport and plays again. If you have enjoyed this video, like, share and subscribe. Comment your thoughts down below. Robbie Wilmot leaves for Walsall on loan for the end of the season. Good luck, Robbie. Wish you the luck.